Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Programming and Algorithms. In this episode we're going to look at two things, how Python implements selection sort, a different kind of sort, and then we'll look at multi-dimensional arrays. So look at selection sort first. We'll remember we uh, had looked at in bubble sort, we had looked in pseudocode already, and we said selection sort is about finding the smallest number in the list and sticking that in the first position, finding the second smallest number in the list and putting that in position two, finding the third smallest and putting it in position three, and so on. So the code, um, it's a lot like the bubble sort code. We have two loops, we've got the outer loop uh, and we've got the inner loop and we just check. We, the, the first loop is checking which, what is the lowest value in the list and stick that in location zero. And then we eliminate that from our list and then say, what is the second lowest value in the list? Put that in position one. What is the third lowest value in the list? Put that in position two and so on. So I definitely think for this, have a play with the code. It's The code is on my website. Don't copy it from the PowerPoint. Just go to my website or go to web courses and take the code from there and then have a look at it. Um, there isn't really anything new to, that we see from Python here. It's exactly the same as the bubble sort code. We note that if the, uh, the for is going from zero to length of age, that really means if the, if the length of age is eight, it's going from zero to seven. Perfect, so that's selection sort. Let's look at now how Python implements multi-dimensional arrays. So we know we can have a list going across we can also have columns as well as rows. So if we think about when we did matrices and maths, a matrix has rows and columns. So that's like a multi-dimensional array. It has both dimension down and dimension across. So if we want to declare something like a matrix, two dimensions, if, we, if, if it's length eight by eight, we say quite similar to how we declare a single array, we just say open square bracket, but a second open square bracket, zero for x in range eight, and then another inside the second paired brackets, x in range eight again. So there's one square bracket that's enclosing both, and then we're declaring one sub. Um, or if we want to declare uh, an array, values in the array, we declare it like this. We say open square bracket, open square bracket, the first row and then the second row. So we'll, we say that that uh, has, is, is, uh, has three, the rows of length through three and there's two columns. No, it's three columns and two rows. And if we print out the list, we print out the same as we, we would before. If we just say print ages, that's what we get. If we want to print out the first value in the array, we just print zero, zero, open square bracket zero, Close square bracket, open square bracket, zero, close square bracket. And that will print out whatever value it has. If we want to assign the first element in the array to a new value, we simply say that value is assigned using the equal sign, whatever number we want to give it to. If I want to add one to each cell in the array, we'd use a single loop for a, a single dimensional array. So for a, a, a two dimensional array, we, we use two loops. The outer loop goes from 0 to 2, so 0 and 1. The inner loop goes from 0 to 3, that's 0, 1, 2. And for each one of those, the outer loop is n, the inner loop is m. For ages n, m, ages n, m gets n, m plus 1. That's all it is. And that will add 1 on. If we want to add up all the values in the array, all we do is have a, a, a counter called total, and we add 1 we add each value in the array to total each time, and then we can print out the total of the array. It's very straightforward stuff. You, f you can figure out how to get an average from that. If there's six values in the array, and we divide that total by six, we'll get the, the average value. So play with that. Thanks very much. We'll see you.